Mr. President, it gives me great pleasure to host you here in Paris because you embody democracy in the Philippines. The long fight of your family in order to reach democracy. And let me remind us that some 25 years ago, Cori Aquino, your mother, it was hosted here by President François Mitterrand. And it was an opportunity to remind us of the fight of the entire family, part of your father, your mother, for the Philippines to know at last freedom and democracy. Today, that is some 25 years after this visit and some 30 years more than 30 years after the revolution, we are together. And our two countries kept getting closer and closer and intensifying their exchanges. Today, we've based, we've built a political cooperation at an exceptional level, given that our two ministers of foreign affairs will meet on a regular basis in order to discuss matters or situations that can be of concern at one point or another, be it in Asia, in Europe, or elsewhere in the world. We also have some economic relationships which have been uh, very much improved, given that there are more than 100 French companies in the Philippines, and this represents some 40,000 jobs or more. And your visit here bears witness to our trade, the number of contracts already existing or about to be signed. I have in mind the aircraft industry, you already trusted Airbus, energy, transport, urban transport, and everything as well in relation to the environment. The environment, this is a major topic. The ecology, this is something we both care about. And I am aware of what global warming represents for you. It is not just a statistical element. It is not a scientific statement. It is a disaster. It is a disaster of the Taiwan Typhoon. And we've expressed France's solidarity vis-a-vis -vis the Philippines. But at the same time, we've agreed that in the context of the preparation of the climate conference, France and the Philippines should work together. And on the occasion of a visit, of my visit to your country, a visit we could organize next year, we could illustrate what this conference on climate should be. To conclude, let me mention our cultural relations. The university exchanges, first of all, and a number of agreements were signed earlier today by higher education institutions, including uh, for the training of high-level public servants. And there also are cultural exchanges, because we do want some exhibitions to be held in both our countries so that our artists are better known in both countries. Here again, you wanted us to enter into a partnership and we have agreed a work program. There are some 50,000 Filipinos who live in France and therefore we should also host them in the best way possible. They are agents of economic development between our two countries. They are also actors of Francophonie, because I would like the French language to be yet further learned in the Philippines and used, because for historical reasons, France and the Philippines share the same values, the value of freedom, autonomy, dignity. And it is for these reasons that some 25 years ago, your mother visited us and did so as a symbol of democracy in Asia. And today, you are not just her son, you are her continuity. Thank you.